Okay, this is a video uh, trying to share some info I gathered from various sources, so I did not come up with it. But anyway, about how to get window, in this case the entire desktop, into your flight simulator in VR with Reverb G2 is what I'm using and uh, with Windows Mixed Reality so I'm not using Steam or any or VR tools or anything like that just uh, the basic thing so I the first thing I do is I get everything ready so in that case uh, I have my flight simulator already running I have my pilot 280C running I guess I can just load some flight plan whatever actually I'm in Warsaw so let's load this doesn't matter okay just so something is going on uh, I have my pushback express I have my self-loading cargo here as well and I have voice attack which I use and this is the best ten dollars I've ever spent even though my obviously I have an accent but it understands me fairly well I am very happy with it uh, sometimes I mean might need to repeat a word but you know it's it's pretty good so once everything you want is ready might as well go into VR and I'm gonna switch now to VR and hopefully it works out good and I will see you there all right okay so we are back in uh, mr. Gates's mansion on the hill and where's my controller okay so I gotta start my controller Duh. there he is only one is all you need so what you do here my record so make sure I'm recording everything is seems to be okay okay I press the window key and I don't want to get into this but you can do apps too I think there is a way to figure out I'm gonna dig into it more or do some more research uh, but we're just gonna go easy with a desktop so I go ahead with desktop I open my desktop now I choose my desktop which I want and I want this desktop okay uh, and we're gonna bring it into the sim I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here for what's it worth I just want to give credit to all the people that helped and uh, gave me ideas and I research and stuff like I did not come up with it I just gather information and basically try to put it in some kind of a usable tutorial okay so now that we have this window we're gonna uh, this desktop we're gonna make it follow us okay so follow me and that thing is gonna follow me right to the cockpit hopefully and okay I'm gonna just turn on my voice attack. okay captain I'm back hopefully it works now the important thing here is that your flight simulator is on the same desktop okay in my case I have two monitors so I gotta make sure that it's on the same one I mean maybe I will explain it later ah and another thing which is important uh, I think okay I'm gonna actually go back sorry about that I'm gonna go back here to try to explain it here in options okay I have to use my actual mouse. Um, you might be able to see it or not. I think you, you should be able to see it. I go to settings. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna make it record the screen instead there's always something like I'm not a pro tutorial maker or anything so okay let's record this monitor then okay so here my setting did open and I'm gonna go to that monitor now now 
okay there we are and you go to headset display I believe it was yeah and here uh, input switching so headset display input switching manually switch windows logo key plus y okay make sure this is set like that to manually okay that that might be important and and besides because uh, yeah like you, you need your mouse here and in the cockpit and everywhere so you don't want that stupid thing just blocking your mouse and everything right so this is important to set that hopefully it's recorded yeah I guess okay we'll see so we can close that now uh, that brings me right away here so now I'm just going to switch to record uh, the windows now it's reality okay so is it correct okay, it seems to be recording the correct thing now so we grab the desktop we want inside the cockpit which is this one okay okay and now we're just gonna start VR so start VR uh, no that's not what I say I say enter VR enter VR there we go there we go in the cockpit uh, center VR we got center and now I can grab my big ass desktop and I move it over here and I can make it stop following me and you can scale it a little bit uh, I guess yeah that's as small as it gets so you yeah, got a kind of big poster hmm. the one thing is not now it kind of stays vertical below it kind of leaned for me now it doesn't want to not sure why is it because it's too far to point? Yeah, move it away and. Okay, oh, there we go. Now we will. Okay, so stop falling. There we go. Now it's a nice angle, so I can kind of see what's going on. Great. Okay, and the performance is very nice. I have no issues with performance. Now, earlier when I was recording the video, it was horrible, like stutter but I did it for like a fifth time however later on everything was okay okay later on everything was okay and the performance inside the cockpit was very smooth and the desktop was still here okay so that's how you do it now the big thing is with the mousey okay actually it's not that, that big of a thing now let's turn on the batteries here Get this done. Oh, I don't need to do that, but whatever. So, with voice control, voice attack, sorry, I can free my mouse because if you might be able to see my not, my mouse is imprisoned inside my cockpit. Okay, I cannot move it out. So, you can use uh, alert tab, I believe it does that. But I can just say that to the damn thing, and I came up with the word application. Application. There we go. And it understood me, but of course it changed the changed the damn desktop. I'm not sure why it changed the desktop. So maybe because that's where the mouse is. to this desktop come on really oh fuck you that's why fucking everything they want to do everything for you automatically eh? fucking cunts there we go 
Th this is what I hate. Everything do automatically, do automatically. Like screw you. Okay, and there we are. And now I can very nicely work with all my windows. Now, as soon as I click on uh, Flight Simulator window, if you can see my mouse is on it, okay, it will give me the mouse back back in the cockpit. Okay. Now, if I want my mouse free again, I will have to say the word application. Application. Ah, your little application. Application. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you have an accent. Okay, now I might come up with some better word, but so far this isn't bad because it's a word that I am very unlikely to say flying. And so that doesn't make me change, right? And yeah, so there you go. You have the whole desktop. You know, if you want just the windows, you maximize one window. There you go. <laughs> Feel that you have a whole window in it, right? But it is very nice. Uh, I can read quite okay. Okay, let's connect here. Connecting the pilot to ATC with the whole Japan. Now it's being slow. Let's hope you will connect. Or not. You can hook up the gate. is moving in beautifully. Alright. Now was that pilot to ATC got stuck, didn't it? Ah your little Okay well it's no big deal. We can just uh, shut it down. Whatever. Just close it. No problem. Whoa. Oh, it understood the word. There you go. That's why that. Yeah, I, I made some other words. So yeah, can just restart it. Now that uh, the nice thing is that I'm doing everything inside the goggles. Okay, so yeah, there we go. My my mouse got stuck again. So just say application. Application. Really, application. Application. I might come up with a goddamn different word that you will understand me every freaking single time. Okay, but there we go. So my mouse is free. I can restart the pilot to ATC. I guess what you could do here is uh, make your window fonts bigger. That will make it larger, uh, easier to read. That might work too. But uh, yeah, you see, you can request your stuff here. What what I'm gonna request? We can request the uh, baggage. Okay. No, okay. There is our pilot to ATC open. So let's open a flight plan. Now I'm in Warsaw, so there is there is some there is a flight plan from Warsaw open. Doesn't really matter, but whatever. Connect. Let's hope it will connect now. Okay. Shopping information there hotel. 430 Zulu winds are light and variable. Visibility 3 miles. Sky is clear. And you can start 12. your. Uh, point minus 14. Current you know. altimeter is 2968. Arriving and departing runway 15. Other programs that you like information to be able to access and don't have to remove your. Uh, well, let me shut it up. Visibility three miles. Sky is clear. Temperature minus. There you go, right? But it's a beauty. Everything you can do here. You don't have to take off your goggles. I can read it fairly well. Uh, actually, not well. You know, it ain't perfect, but it's nice. It's nice. Uh, and say I need a mouse in a cockpit right now, so I just... Uh, now in my case I can just say any comment that will 
do something in a cockpit that will get my mouse in or I can click on the flight sim window that I have here right? I click on it and boom I have my mouse back in a cockpit and I can uh, you know do stuff get these guys going And again, I want to stress out that the performance is great. It's it's very smooth. Everything is working very nice. So, uh -huh. and uh, my mouse is stuck again. So again, application. And my mouse is free. And I can uh, say star flight. Before I always had to remove my goggles for it. Oh, it was you know, pain in the ass. And now it's working great, you see? Super. Okay, I'm getting the baggage ready. Right wing. Right wing. Right wing. Yeah. So yeah, you can check out what those guys are doing here. Oh wow, that even moved with you. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> but kind of. Uh, I moved the head over here because this one my microphone is. Application. Application application okay i'm gonna like so come up with a different word <laughs> okay now we can get this guy going oh there he is hey hey buddy the window's open on airbus i didn't know that no okay sorry now we can get the baggage in again check this guy's working yeah sweet So there you go, that, uh, that actually even follows you. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you can... Uh, I don't think you can hide it for a little bit. It's kind of here, it's here. But if it bothers you, you can move it back there. Right? And now you don't see it. Don't see nothing, and if you want it back, just no. <laughs> okay, there we go. There it is. So yeah, you can move it back. I wish I could make it even smaller, but I can't. So I just like when it does that at an angle. I don't know. Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it don't. But yeah, you know, it, it works, and it's, I, I think it's very nice. It's easy. I know it's not exactly... Application. Yeah, I'm gonna come up with a different word. Okay, let's shut these guys up. Sorry, I'm gonna shut up. Turn that off. Yeah. But yeah, there you have it. And it works great. And uh, yeah, I see no performance issue. It was very nice. Now, if you watched my previous video, video, uh, it was horrible at first. After it went away, but it was like a fourth or I don't know which time in a row that I was uh, doing that. So you know, the computer got all freaking confused and uh, and whatnot. But yeah, beautiful. Okay. Hope you find it helpful. Stop recording.